kids, this is Tim with dogfunk.com. I'm walking you through the 2011 Rome Mod. Uh, this is a traditional camber board, and as you can see, it's got a uh, true twin shape. Um, this board is Rome's top of the line core. It's got the air pop core with a mid stiff flex, so this board will be happiest riding all mountain and uh, park jumps. Um, it's super light. It's got Kevlar impact plates directly under where your bindings would be. And uh, it's, it comes from the factory with a two degree park bevel on the edges. So no detuning is necessary on this board. It's ready to ride. It's also got a super fast carbon sintered base on it. Um, it's really tough, durable, and fast. Um, keep in mind that this is a traditional four hole pattern board. So it'll match up with any four hole bindings. And uh, this board is best for intermediate riders, advanced riders, and guys that want to slay it in the park. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JJ and this is the Burton Custom Flying V. Uh, the Burton Custom has been Burton's line forever and right now it's kind of undergone a recent evolution with Flying V technology, bringing it new life. Uh, the Flying V, with you have in between your feet is a rocker zone. Directly under your feet is a cambered zone that goes all the way out to the toe and the, and the nose. Uh, so you get that pop. To further eliminate any would-be dead rocker feel, Burton gives what's called lightning bolts, which are carbon stringers interwoven into fiberglass that go from the middle of the board all the way out to the edge for key energy transfer and pop. You have 1045 sidewalls, which are great for impact resistance. Underneath, you have a centered base that holds wax well and is really fast. Uh, super poppy graphics on there, and it looks good. Uh, the board is overall a great twin flex, and it's a quiver of one. So throw your other boards away and get this. Uh, you have the ICS channel, and this goes great with the Burton Cartel EST binding. It looks so good, it makes me want to cry. So yeah, that's the Burton Custom Flying V. I am Trent, and I'm here with the Dennis McNeck Rook um, from Nitro. It is a mid-flex, uh, zero camber, twin board. So there's a completely flat technology, gives you more stability and pop. Uh, it also has uh, extra uh, fiberglass, the pop band fiberglass, which allows the board to be torsionally flexible, yet gives it a little bit stiffer throughout. Um, it also has the rail killer edges that are super beefy. Uh, basically, you can hack at them as much as you want and have rails forever. Um, centered base, so it's super fast, pretty much like anything nitro. And uh, best thing about it is the graphics. Dennis McNett is a professor in New York that has also done graphics for Antihero and Vans. So, pretty dope board here. Hit it up. Hi, Matt with uh, dogfunk.com, here to talk to you about the Skate Banana, the original. Uh, I want to talk primarily about the two main technologies in this board, the uh, Banana Tech uh, reverse camber and the Magnet Traction. Uh, starting with the Magnet Traction, it's a uh, wave in your uh, edge here, starting uh, in the center and mellowing out towards the tip and tail. Um, what the magnet traction allows you to do is to uh, cut into hard snow like a serrated knife. It allows you to carve great turns uh, in any uh, snow conditions. Uh, the other tech we want to talk about is uh, the banana reverse camber, banana tech technology. Uh, and what that is, is it's reverse camber between your inserts here and then flat camber from your inserts out to the nose and tail. Uh, what you get out of that is a catch-free turning initiation, a really loose, uh, fun feel to the board, and pretty much uh, all mountain uh, riding. This board has the uh, regular four-hole pattern, which will fit any uh, four-hole pattern uh, binding. And uh, yeah, pretty much this board is great for uh, everywhere on the mountain, from the uh, park, powder, and everything in between. My name is Julia and this is the K2 Fling. Uh, this board offers flatline technology, which means it's a zero cambered board, offering a smooth, balanced ride. 
Um, it has carbon stringers that branch out from the center of the board, giving it more pop when you're going on to rails, anything, kickers. Um, it's perfect for that girl who wants to ride park half the day, but then take it to the mountain for the rest. Um, it has perfect pop, uh, off, awesome grip, and a good feature about this board is it has a centered base, so you're going to cruise super easy and you don't have to worry about durability. Again, this is the K2 Fling. Check it out. <laughs>